If your game's running like this, and not like this, then my friends, you need to watch this video to the end. Before we do that though, please do consider subscribing and leaving a like as I make Southwest Florida videos daily, well at the moment anyway. And I'm always giving tips, tricks, and also some cool videos to be honest. So it'd really, really help me out if you could do that. And also, buy my new merch which is in the description below. Also join the Discord server. Enough advertising though, let's get on with this video. So, I'm sure you can tell if you're an avid player, or maybe if, if you're new. You can tell the map is very big, like, very big. And for a mobile to run this game, maybe even a PC, it can be really, really difficult. So, basically, what you need to know is, the way Southwest Florida works is they have this rendering system. So, if you look down there, you can kind of see, like, nothing's really loaded in. Everything's loading in as we go forward. So, Southwest Florida, they do try their best to make it so the game isn't laggy most things in the game are meshes so props to the devs for trying their best but some people i know they cannot run the game especially when they're with a lot of people in a public server so let me give you some tips so first of all if we click escape uh, and on mobile it's just this little roblox icon in the top left click that and go to settings now you can see here i've got my graphics mode on manual now something that might help you is by putting this thing right to the bottom all right what that does, it just lowers, it may, it may lower the quality a little bit, the game still looks good. But it drastically makes the game a lot more smoother. There are a few glitches though for some reason. But that's alright. Um, the game does look a bit stupid, but it's still playable. You can still play the game, do role plays nicely. But, and, and they also made it so things load in a lot slower, so that, like that rendering thing that I spoke about. But that's what that will do, basically. Now, that is probably one of the most common ways to fix lag, but... Say you, that still doesn't help you, this is what you can do. So, you've put everything down to minimum. You've closed all your tabs. You've done everything you, the best you can and you'll still lag it well. I've got another solution for you. If you want to click this little gear icon settings here, click that. The team have included some different things that may help you with your lag. So, if you maybe want to turn off location markers. i probably recommend turning off vehicle collision so you don't keep crashing into other vehicles. And then if you go down here, there's tree shadows and global shadows. Now that is just extra lag. That's just extra graphics. So let me turn that off. So it's basically going to turn off all shadows everywhere and it's going to turn off tree shadows. So now you'll notice that there's no shadows anywhere. It's all literally just... So even now that the sun's to my side, there's no shadow. And I, to be honest, it does, look, it does make the game look nicer. And then if I activate it, you can see the shadow. And the shadow just adds a t the tiniest bit of, of processing power to the game, basically. And... To the weakest computers out there, the most low end you could find, maybe you're playing on your mum's laptop, but I mean, that's okay. Um, then, yeah, that's probably going to make a difference. So, what I'd recommend is going into settings, turning everything off, turning your graphics to the minimum, and then, yeah, you're all good. That's all you can really do. Now, let's switch sides real quick. Say you have a really good computer and you want to make your game feel and look the best. Well, of course, you're going to go to settings and you're going to turn everything on. Enable everything. You can already see in the background a drastic difference. Then you're going to go to settings and put this on maximum, alright? So, what's next? And by the way, this looks sick. Well, there's a link in the description to a program called rbxunlocker.exe. And what happens is if you click that, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the link in the description and download RBX FPS Unlocker. So I'm going to download this now just because uh, I need to actually update it. You're just going to run it like that. Let me just make it a uh, day. And if you look, it will come up in the bottom here. And now, all you do is you put the FPS cap. So if, if that doesn't make sense to search up a video on FPS Unlocker, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to FPS cap, put it on none. And if I do Shift F5, you can see in the top left, I'm running at 82 FPS, 84 FPS. Now, I have a really good computer. Well, not really good, but I have a fair enough computer, to be honest. And I'm only getting 120 FPS. So that shows you that this game is quite big. Now, if I, uh, if I turn off global shadows and stuff like that, you can see it goes right up to 200 FPS right away. And then even if I put my graphics down a bit more, you can see 300 FPS. You see that? So that just proves everything I showed you does really help you out a lot. But if you have a really good computer, similar to me, then get an FPS unlocker. It'll make your game feel a lot nicer and smoother. And you'll definitely appreciate your computer a lot more. So let me know if you have any tips in the comments below to help any anyone else. That is going to be all for today's video. I know there might be a way to remove textures around the game, but I'm not going to do that because that just ruins the experience altogether. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out. Make sure you subscribe, join the Discord server, buy the merch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!